Hey, how you doing? Um, sorry, I'm just doing a little differently this time. Rather than just having random music playing in the background, I thought maybe I'll just sort of like start talking randomly enough. So, um, I, uh, been working on this drawing for quite some time now. And, uh, hope you got a chance to sort of glimpse at the finished product at the beginning so usually I don't do that I did it this time I threw in the uh, what it looks like what it will look like at the beginning rather than you guys having to wait till the end um, I may lose on view time but in all fairness you know I, with this, my YouTube channel it's not all about views and likes and stuff like that I kind of maybe gonna switch my uh, tactics a bit not really focus on that really now so um, I'm actually in my car I'm just uh, going to uh, talk for the rest of the video and uh, going on a hike <coughs> and uh, just excuse me I have a bit of a uh, stuffed up throat so and uh well, anyways, I'll, I'll be at my destination in about five minutes. It's not that far from home. It's about 4.30 Saturday evening. Actually, it's getting dark already. So, and, uh, so I did this whole drawing with the, uh, the Statler Ink pens. 0.1. Seven minutes, so do the math. The exact time it took me to do this was well, let's just round up uh, 50 minutes times uh, times 20. So, whatever that works out to be, that's how long it took me to do this drawing. And, uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> try to sound a little more enthusiastic. I think when I get to my destination, I'm out on my little hike, I'll uh sound a little better right now. I'm just sort of driving and uh, for the next five minutes and I just got to sort of, while I'm talking to you guys, just focus on the road at the same time. I don't know if you can hear the car or not. But, uh, anyways, I'm just coming over a hill here. <clears throat> got to watch out for other drivers. People seem to do funny things on a Saturday. What? Friday night and Saturday night? The driving style of people completely changes. Um, I think it's big, probably because it's the weekend and a lot of these yeah, younger kids have their parents' car out. And uh, they don't have all that uh, years of experience of driving, so they're trying to, you know a little immature driving, reckless, you know, so that was the same way, I guess, <coughs> no, but uh, truthfully, I didn't get my license right away, which I guess is a regret, but I can't do anything about that, it's in the past, no. so actually that brings up one of my things I want to talk about, just uh, regrets in life. We all have them. How do we deal with our regrets? And, uh, <clears throat> can we? Uh, can they become a blessing, a, a positive uh, outcome? Right? And, uh, things we've done in our past, or uh, 
decisions that we should have done that we didn't make, you know, like one of mine maybe is I should have maybe tried a little harder in high school, maybe worked a little bit harder through life, and, uh, taken a slightly different career path. My artwork, that's just a hobby, so it doesn't matter if what I was doing in life as my career, that would still exist. I know that for a fact. It's getting a little bumpy on this road. I'm just coming up a dirt road here now, so. But yeah, those uh, regrets. And, uh, and also, you know, like other people in our lives that made decisions. And do we forgive them for their decisions that affected our lives? Uh, you know, sometimes those decisions were negative that they may have done in our lives, but they they had actually no positive outcome. We don't realize it. We'll never, maybe never realize it, but, uh, you know, they're just, uh, what is this guy doing? So there's another crazy driver. <coughs> Almost where I'm, at, where I'm going. Uh, it gets dark this time of year. Oh, I'm gonna turn my car lights on. One thing I was actually thinking about doing was just having a, a video recording this whole thing, and I would just have it like picture in picture on my uh, my time lapse uh, tutorial or time lapse video for this drawing that I'm doing. And just have it down in the corner. I actually tried that one time before. I did a, I did a small uh, tree tutorial and I did that. I did a picture in picture in the corner, a videotape of a short little hike I was on up in uh, the uh, Arboretum at uh, University of Guelph. Uh, it's not that far from where I live actually, so it's, it's about uh, <coughs> 20 minutes from my house, something like that. My daughter wants to go to Guelph University, which will be for her in two years at the minimum. She takes a year off, and I guess uh, three years. I think she should take a year off if she still doesn't know exactly what she wants to do. So, <clears throat> rather than wasting money, that was also a regret of mine. Right out of high school, I jumped into architecture at Mohawk. And, uh, I didn't really follow through with it. And, uh, but ironically, I chose architecture as a career. But I took interior design uh, later on and uh, a few little things, programs and stuff. I have an ESL teaching certificate as well. I never followed through with those things. So it's funny, the things I completed, I didn't follow through with, but the thing I, I didn't finish up with, architecture, I, that became my career, which is kind of ironic. Here I am now, I'm just gonna park my car without running over into anything. I got my snow tires on already. So I'm hoping there's not a lot of people here. All right. Well, it's like dead quiet here right now. A lot more quiet than it was in the car. I can I can uh, see in my uh, recording app that it's not uh, the audio line is not going crazy as it was in my car. It's not picking up the engine. It's just me talking. But one second, I'm gonna say nothing. One sec, there's still a road nearby. Of course, all these cars come by now. I don't want to be silent. I want to have a course in silence and the traffic picks up. <clears throat> so 
So it's just me walking. The chipmunk. Pretty quiet, eh? Lost my trail here. Usually I don't go on hikes when it's gonna get dark in like half an hour. Or the sun's gonna set in half an hour at the least. But it's heavy overcast right now. I can see some blue sky coming through. But the sun's going to set in about half an hour. I usually don't do that, but it's, it's crazy. I don't know. I mean, I don't like the days leading up to the winter solstice. I don't like this, you know, how the fox fall back. And it feels like it gets dark earlier. I mean, the only good thing is you get to sleep in on that one day, on a Sunday, extra hour of sleep. But I'd rather that they change that and the government or whatever, or the UN, whoever makes the decision, and that this year, when it springs ahead, they just leave it like that and not this fall back thing. Because I don't think all countries do it. And it's just it's depressing in the winter time. Because it would be kind of nice, you know, I mean, it's the thing, again, like, yeah, leading up to the longest, or the shortest day of the year is December 19th. You know, and it sucks because it gets, like, dark at, like, 3 p.m. And then uh, at the opposite end in July or June 19th, I think it is. The summer solstice. It stays light until like 9:30. And it's almost 10, almost. You know, and it's nice in uh, Nova Scotia, Cape Breton, especially. Um, I was there and uh, with some my relatives, and we were up late. And uh, <clears throat> 3 a.m. You can see the sun coming up. That was kind of crazy. So, I've only been talking for what, about 13 and a half minutes, and I'm going to talk about something else. Oh, yeah, um, I uh, recently started using the uh, chat GBT, well, there's a free version, 3.5, but there's a paid version, version 4, which gives you access to more things. Like so I started messing around with it this day. I uploaded a picture of a little rocket and I said draw some sprites and blah 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 for a asteroids type scheme and it and I said to it generate in a whimsical style hand drawn vibrant colors and it just made all the sprites like it did it within a couple of minutes. Made all the sprite made a whole sprite sheet in a PNG file. Not PNG uh uh, sprite sheet file, which is like a a, a, a a drawing file with a transparent background. It shows all the individual sprites for like a game or whatever, right? So, because I started to uh, design a few games and uh, that was my whole idea was to hand draw everything. And I actually did an Asteroids game where I hand draw everything, but uh, that was before. But now I might uh, replace all the sprites with this... Uh, chat GBT thing and I know a lot of people are concerned about uh, artwork with artificial intelligence but I find that like <clears throat> it it did make a comment to me that I asked I said something I uploaded something and it said to me that 
that it lacks the capability of uh, human imagination, so they can't do things, right? So it's better for me to, you know, hand draw everything. And um, and then I can upload that hand drawing or painting or whatever, right? And come up with, uh, allow it to come up with variations in different topics and uh and use it as like an inspiration for other hand drawings i might do or you know even just take a picture or something and uh, it will um do a uh, a drawing style but if you ask it to emulate somebody else like you said upload a picture of a cat or a dog or an animal and you said, could you paint this in the style of Robert Bateman? Um, I tried that and I asked, could you take this picture of a little rocket and emulate the style of a game called Creeks. Creeks is a hand-drawn game of the for iPhone and uh, Apple Mac devices and uh, it actually refused it said that it couldn't copy all this torso style so they told me to be descriptive and, and uh, <coughs> come up with my own idea um, in a descriptive in a, a, a worded descriptive and they did that and interesting what they came up with but at the same time, you know, these, I don't call it art. It's not art at all. But it is a good way to get you know, the imagination going and uh, come up with uh, other ideas. I mean, it it, it generated a, uh, a drawing <clears throat> based on one of my drawings because I told it that this was my drawing. So in a sense, you're basically giving the thing permission to do whatever, right? And uh, he did a couple of variations, and uh, <clears throat> I like what it came up with. And it gave me some ideas for uh, um, some other art styles that I could do. One, one second here. Sorry about that. So it actually inspired me to uh, to use some of my other art tools. I, I went out and I this was like a year ago. I spent like a hundred odd dollars on these uh, colored ink brushes, where like each brush has its particular ink art color in it, right? And I got like about two hundred of them, different colors. And, you know, um, and, uh, well, more like, probably like 80 colors, but again, like, two or three of them are like, you know, the same shade of red or the same shade of purple, whatever, right? I never used them, but, uh, I, uh, with this DALI chat GBT 4.0, Did some artwork based on my, again my uh, an idea that I gave it, and uh, I think probably I'm gonna start using those ink brushes, those colored ink brushes. I mean, to uh, generate some ideas. But you know, I think a lot of people are using this thing now because if you go into Google Images and you type in, uh, let's say. Uh, Painting, or I don't know, painting of a, I don't know, let's say cross section of an abandoned Victorian mansion. Alright? And it will do that, but uh, they seem very familiar. I think a lot of these, a lot of these uh, were done on GBT. 
um, but it is a bit unfortunate that there's going to be a lot of artwork out there that's excuse me not done with human hands uh, like recently uh, there was an art show and uh, guess who won first prize well the artificial intelligence Somebody had brought it in, and nobody knew. It was nobody's fault, right? And, um, you know, they see a person, a person has it. They brought it in, put it up, and put it in the show, and it won. And then they, he, that person was honest enough, I guess, I think, to say, hey, I didn't actually do this. It was the artificial intelligence, the chat GBT, the DALI. Um, that did it. He didn't think he was going to win. So that's uh, interesting. So I'm just going to try to use it as inspiration. You know, sometimes I use motivation and uh, you know, use this to create different ideas. <clears throat> but I heard you can make music with it too. And, uh, I, I noticed lately there's a lot of uh, reboots of old 80s songs. And some of them are really well done. And I think that uh, they had a little help. Or, um, or if a book is written, I could say one thing would be handy. Like if you're an author and uh, you don't have a lot of money and you need you, you wrote a book or a story or a little article or something, or a thesis for school, you wrote it yourself. That's important. Do that. You got to be honorable, right? It work. But you can get this thing to proofread for you and as I understand it will highlight mistakes so you can read through it and you see the highlighted mistakes because it's not perfect it's just mistakes itself right it's, so you can go in there and you can fix those mistakes again rather than spending a ton of money on the high end proofreader but I guess that's bad for the person who is a proofreader by trade um I wonder how far this will go. I mean, um, will you be able to like, uh, ask me a question? Uh, what stock should I buy this week? And uh, <clears throat> what else? Yeah. So I'm just listening to the silence again. It's not that cold yet. I'm gonna have to probably start wearing gloves in a week or two. No snow on the ground. Leaves are off the trees here, pretty much. The trees, I should say, are pretty much uh, bare. how much further I'll go. Because obviously I have to walk back, right? And I'll have to walk back. Start walking back now while it's still light or go 
go further and walk back in the dark. It is, um, I'm going to switch over to a different topic. Something else I've been thinking about, you know, like, I think everyone's thinking about things going on in the world right now. You know, it's a bit concerning. You know, things are changing so fast, especially in the Middle East right now. And uh, how the world is all focused on uh, Gaza and Israel at the moment. And everyone seems to have forgotten about uh, Ukraine and Russia. Uh, I wonder if they're looking for a little attention right now. So, um, but it's interesting how, how the whole world is focused on Israel, Gaza, a little piece of land, and uh, no one really seems to be concerned about how this has happened in other countries like um, China and Tibet, whatever, you know, you know it's, what, what the arrangement is there, and you know, Taiwan, and those other places, Iran. I have my thoughts, but keep them to myself really <clears throat> so just about this drawing I'm working on I should be talking about that really yeah doing the grass is uh, it's my style. I, I like doing the, the heavy detail, hyper detail, I guess it's called. And, uh, you know, just you start it and you're starting in one corner and you work your way over. And uh, it does take a lot of time. I think it took probably about eight or ten hours just to do that uh, grassy part in the uh, foreground. And then I worked on the car there. and. Uh, the uh, car, you know, I did it my own style, and uh, all ink pen. And uh, if anyone thinks that I was using graphite or something, I wasn't. I, what I do is I take my old pens as they start to wear out and fade. And I use actually I use them for shading. So that's my secret there. You just keep your old pens, and I put a little ink dot on the on them one dot or two dots so or three dots and that indicates how how faded they are so um so they're almost in a way kind of like uh, uh pencils in a way yeah like uh, hb and 2b and 5b uh, 2b or not to be because someone left a comment on one of my other videos and they thought i was using graphite and they asked me to make a correction on my title. And they said to call it uh, graphite and ink drawing. Well, I didn't use any graphite. And Sorry, I'm just stopping once in a while listening. I saw a turtle here last time I was here. It was sitting on the trail and had its feet and its head inside its shell. It was just sitting right in the middle of the trail. So I picked it up and put it over into the uh, 
marshy area. I think that's where it was going, I hope. Because it wasn't pointed in that direction. It was like pointed in the direction of the trail. So I'm hoping I didn't put it back where it came from. And it was heading somewhere else. And I'm going to start walking back now, I think. So I'm actually walking on the part of the trail. It's all grass covered. And I'm coming up to the uh, main trail, which is covered in leaves. So you're going to hear me walking. Probably. couple of cars parked back at the uh, little parking lot area. And, uh, I've seen uh, two people so far. And there were three cars there. So when I get back, there should still be one car and myself there. So yeah, so, uh, something else. Yeah, I'll just talk about the motivation issue that uh, we can struggle with with everything that's going on in the world right now because it, it can kind of um, take away our motivation to do things. And uh, I said this to some people there last uh, Thursday uh, with some friends and, and I said to them oh chipmunk just passed me anyways I said to them you know like how do you do it uh, treat treat people as if it were your last day like you know don't react to someone might give you a bad look or uh, or negative people just be positive with everybody be humble and uh, as if it were your last day but work hard with your work and your hobbies as if you had a had another hundred years right That, that uh, helps quite a bit, I find myself, it, just reminding myself of that, it keeps my motivation going. Well, at least it did help this week. Since the last few weeks, I wasn't really feeling heavily motivated, and I fell behind on my work quite a bit. And... Uh, Somebody's walking this way. I'm going to try a different trail here. Go this way here. Walk back into the field. sound in the background. I can't tell if it's uh, coyotes or, or something else. 
Well, I can hear the road. It's, um, I can see the uh, parking lot through the trees. It's, uh, somebody uh, turning their car around. Oh, I know what that sound is. It's uh, there's a farm. It's the cows. In the, uh, the field, they're out and they're making the mooing sound, and it just it sounds a little bit different. Odd, it's a kilometer away, but let's see if the speaker picks or the microphone picks it up. Well, that's a car passing by. You can hear things a lot clearer because there's no leaves on the trees, right? Yeah, I don't. I think it's too far away for the uh, microphone to pick it up. I can hear it clearly, but it's not showing on the uh, microphone. Uh, screen so when I get home it takes me five minutes to get home and, uh, <clears throat> I'll put this audio clip in the uh, video that I've uh, edited already and time lapsed and I'll just plop this over top of it and render it and upload it maybe this evening or uh, or tomorrow. I'm just going to take my time. So the video is uh, 45 or 49 minutes. But, um, yeah, you know, I mean, the whole world does feel different. You got a sense of something that's imminent about to happen. I feel positive, though. And not everyone does. I think uh, good, uh, good will come out of this. Unfortunately, it's it's war, and unfortunately, people die. And but I, I don't know what to say about that. You know, the stuff you hear on the news, what they're doing. Just civilians, and I don't know. It's hard to tell what's true or not. Is you know the media, but you don't know what to believe anymore. And uh, I know what I do believe. But, uh, I'm not ready to talk about that just yet, if if ever. You know, I'll talk about stuff like that, maybe <clears throat> with uh, friends and family uh, 
that um, not, uh, it's not going to get posted onto a media, but uh, I do have my thoughts that uh, the next uh, few months are going to be very unique, and 2024 is going to be uh, different. I'll just say it's going to be different. But I think people know that already. <clears throat> just looking at these big old trees here and uh, just looking at the way some of them grow. There's this big huge one here, it must be 100 years old and uh, it has one branch just coming out of the side of it. It almost has a, uh, a Tim Burton look to it. And the, the squirrels and the chipmunks are fighting with each other. That's funny. No, I think squirrels and chipmunks, they're, they're like, um, they're like the Middle East. You know, or, or, yeah, squirrels, like, you know, you get the brown squirrels and the black squirrels and the red squirrels and they're like us you know they don't seem to get along with one another it's uh the racism in the animal kingdom i had some baby squirrels there last year my uh, family my daughter wife and daughter and i who, I, I don't know what happened to the mothers the parents and uh, they actually lived with us in our house, and uh, after a few weeks, they got, uh, they kind of turned against us and uh, became wild. And uh, what is that? Oh, nothing. So, yeah, they turned wild, and uh, so we kind of had to so I just let them outside and let them make their own decision. They, one just kind of hung around for a bit longer because there were three of them. So I guess that was the fifth wheel, and he hung around, or she. And the other two took off and together. But they were weird because they were like uh, um, the black one, and a, a gray one, and a light gray one. So I don't, I don't know how they work like that. There's like red squirrels and black squirrels and gray squirrels. Are they all from the same family? They just grow a different hair color? Like, like Caucasian people? <clears throat> are they different species? Because when we adopted them, there are three of them, but they all kind of adopted one. We took one of them and then, and then the other two sort of showed up. I guess when they saw us looking after the one, I don't know, maybe they were our siblings. And, uh, we fed them milk, a little, a little kitten milk bottle that they pick up at the, uh, the pet store. And, um, I had a baby raccoon actually at one time, and uh, it didn't last very long. Are, uh, <coughs> they don't seem, didn't want to eat, and uh, it died actually but the squirrels were yeah they just gave the milk ball and grabbed it and they played with us and you know I had a little shoe box three of them and uh, sometimes they'd whimper and I'd put my hand in the box and it would, it would calm down and fall asleep and, but the little baby raccoon just was like no I don't get it. The squirrels are, seem to be a little more uh, people friendly than the raccoons, I guess. Even when they're a little baby. But I've seen people with pet raccoons and I don't know how they do it. Because <clears throat> they get violent, but you, you see people with these pet raccoons. And raccoons sitting on, the, on their sofas and eating grapes. and watching TV, and I don't know how the heck they do it. So, and, uh, but anyways, yeah, I've just about done this, and, uh, I 
throw in a little uh, watercolor, a little uh, ink wash afterwards on my drawing just to finish off a few. I don't like little white blank areas on my drawing. I can fill them in, but I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have. I just left it as is. But And then what I do is I take it to a, uh, uh, a print shop and I have them make a... Uh, a digital scan of it and then I'll uh, they'll put it on my little USB thing and then I'll take it home and I'll uh, I'll uh, save it in its original file size which can be like you know uh, literally 8k uh, resolution which they can be like 8,000 by 6,000 resolution then I'll I'll make a copy and save it as uh, a 4160 by 2150 size and then I'll make a thumbnail out of it as well so I might make the uh, get the GBT to make a thumbnail for me as long as it doesn't make anything too weird and uh, to see if uh, people think of that so anyways I think that's it I'm gonna head home now and uh, bye for now and if you've listen to this whole rambling and watch my video that's that's great and um i don't really sell my work maybe one day i'll just sort of give them away i'll say okay for the ten thousandth one hundred thousandth viewer view <coughs> i'll uh i'll send you the original and i'll pay for the shipping maybe i'll do that someday Anyways, bye for now. Thanks. Bye-bye.